Hello, my name is Patricia and I'm here today to give you a couple of training tips to use on your multi-touch elite panel board. This is for first time users, but if this is your second or third time using your panel board, I'm sure you're going to pick up some tips. First of all, I'm going to talk about the hardware of the board. Then I'm going to talk to you about navigating, writing and creating lessons and some, give you some great tips. And then finally, maintaining your board to get the most out of your panel board. So firstly, you need to have your interactive whiteboard installed on the wall, your projector above it and connected to a computer. Whatever you see on your computer, you're going to see on the interactive whiteboard. To turn the board on and off, you use this switch down the bottom here. You need to make sure it's on to be running the board. It's got an inbuilt stereo speakers located at the base of the board and the volume switch is located at the side. Next to the volume switch, there's also two USB ports which you can use for cameras, printers and visualisers. Okay, another piece of the hardware that you'll have is your stylus. At the end of the dial, there's a dial here which you can use to change between different colours while writing. Another great thing you can do with your panel board is to write directly into Microsoft software like Excel, PowerPoint and Word. Now I'm going to show you this in another video. Exploring the web and typing URLs is something that's coming up increasingly in teaching. You can have student-directed learning with a great resource like the internet to take your lesson wherever the students need it to go. What multi-touch also lets you do is gesture recognition. You may have seen this at home on your iPhone or iPad, but I'm going to show it to you here now on this panel board. Gesture recognition is also something you may, you may have used at home on your iPad or iPhone. With Windows 7 and the panel board, I'm going to show you how you can bring gesture recognition into your classroom. I've got an image here of three penguins, and I'm going to enlarge it using just these two fingers. Placing them close together on the board, I'm going to pull them apart, and as you can see, the image is enlarged. To minimise it back to where it was, I'm just going to bring my fingers back together. If you want to flip an image, you simply get your two fingers again, and drag it around like that. You can then enlarge again and do whatever you want. This gesture recognition technology is becoming increasingly abundant on the internet. An example I have here is on Google Maps. I'm going to, just like with the penguins, use my two fingers and enlarge this. And as you can see, I've used gesture recognition. Exploring the internet is a great resource for you to use in your classroom and I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use it easily on your panel board. To bring up the Internet Explorer, you just use your finger like a mouse as before and then to type the URL, with Windows 7 there's a great function that you can use. You simply highlight the URL bar and you'll notice that a keyboard's popped up here. You can use this keyboard as you would your normal keyboard on your computer. So. I'm going to go to Google. And enter. This will bring me to Google. You can also use handwriting to write into these URLs. Or search. It's this button here. So I'm going to search for one of my favourite places in the world, which is Paris. I'm just going to use my finger write in the word Paris and as you can see it picked it up. I insert it here and now I can search. So finally to get the most out of your panel board you need to maintain it. Turning off the projector and board when not in use will save power for you in your school. You need to make sure that you clean the filters of the projector regularly as per the instruction manual. You can clean this board using a neutral detergent or water because of the metal line surface on top. I hope this training clip has helped you feel empowered to use your panel board in your classroom and I wish you the best of luck.